26, 27, 28, 29, 300. <coughs> I didn't see you there. Hold up, let me change my suit. Oh! Welcome to the office, guys. So, before we begin, watch this transition. That was great. That was the best transition that I've ever done in my life. Wait, I don't have a life. Ah, moving on. So, today's topic, an introduction to organic chemistry. So, in organic chemistry, we have something called isomers. Isomers are molecules that have the same molecular formula, but different structural formula. In this case, we'll be looking at stereoisomers. The difference between the regular isomers and isomers, stereoisomers is that stereoisomers have a different orientation in space. Yeah. I tried to make a really funny chemistry joke, but all of them are, are gone. <laughs> okay, moving back to the move, moving back to topic. So, there are two types of stereoisomers in the AS Cambridge curriculum, which we are currently studying right now. One type of, of it is the cis and trans isomerism. The difference in a single carbon-carbon atom bond and a double carbon-carbon atom bond is that there is no free rotation in a double carbon-carbon bond. This results in the possibility of a different type of isomerism in unsaturated organic compounds. So, in cis 1 2 dibromoethane, the bromine atom is placed on the same side of the double carbon carbon atoms. But in trans 1 2 dibromoethane, the bromine atom is placed across the double carbon carbon bond. The differences are that they have different physical properties and chemical properties. One such physical properties is the boiling point and melting point, while one such of chemical properties is that the rate of reaction of these compounds are different. I'm the replacement, guys. The other guy was dead. No, I'm not! Get out of my office! That's my suit! Get out! Get out! 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 out. Sorry guys, that was just my cousin. He tried to be a businessman like I am, but he fails. So, moving on. So the next stereoisomers is called optical isomers. If a molecule contains a carbon atom that is bonded to four different molecules are mirror images of each other and cannot be superimposed. By what I mean superimposed, it's just like your right hand and your left hand. You can't really mix, you can't really overlap each other with it. The carbon atom with the four different groups attached to it is called the Schitrel center of the molecule. They differ in their effect on polar polarized lights. A pair of optical isomers will rotate the polarized light by equal amounts but in opposite directions. One in clockwise and the other is in anti-clockwise. So, you might be wondering, how do you make an optical isomer? Well, just imagine that the image is reversed. So like in a plane mirror. The right will become the left, and the left will become the right. So, let me wrap things up. There are two types of stereoisomers, cis and trans isomers, and optical isomers. In cis and trans isomers, the molecules are in the same side of the carbon-carbon atom bond. While in trans isomers, the molecules are across of the du double carbon-carbon atom bond. They differ in their physical properties and chemical properties, such as their melting point, boiling point. For chemical properties, they are different in their rate of reactions. Well, in optical isomers, they cannot be superimposed. So it's like I said before, it's like my left hand and my right hand. They cannot just overlap at each other. The way that we make optical isomers is just putting them in a plane mirror. So if you could see, a plane mirror will actually reverse everything. So yeah, I believe that is all, guys. It's great. I can go back to the gym and work on these biceps. Yeah! How to make a good transition? Oh, yeah. I can't read.